I'm Ray. This is VCC Connection, and I'm glad you joined me today. I want to read to you um, meditation from a book called The Book of Mysteries by Jonathan Kahn. And the premise of these meditations is of a teacher uh, coming and teaching, talking with uh, a student of his. And this meditation is entitled The Midbar. And this is what he writes. He took me out in the desert to an immense valley surrounded by reddish mountains, which turned increasingly purple and blue as they extended out into the far distance. What words come to your mind, said the teacher? when you look at the desert wilderness. Mm, dry, barren, hot, austere, severe, hard, forbidding. And when people go through hard times, times of loss, crisis, tragedy, loneliness, conflict, hardship, problems, separation, tears, they speak of going through the wilderness. And yet, the wilderness is a holy place. It was in a desert wilderness that God gave his law, his word, and where he revealed his presence. The wilderness is holy. So, the hard times in our lives are holy? For those who are his children? Yes. How so? In Hebrew, the wilderness is called the Midbar. Midbar comes from the root word Devar. And Devar means to speak. What is the wilderness? It is the Midbar. And what is the Midbar? It is the place of God's speaking the place of his voice. It's where God especially talks to us. Why did he bring his people into the wilderness, into the Midbar? So he could speak to them. He brought Moses into the Midbar to speak to him through a burning bush. He brought Elijah to the Midbar to speak to him in a still small voice. So too he brings us into the wilderness that he might speak to us. What is it about the wilderness that makes it the place of God speaking? Look around you, he said. What do you see? Not much. Rocks, sand, mountains. That's why, said the teacher. God speaks, but we don't hear. We have too many distractions. But in the wilderness, the distractions are gone. So God brings us to the wilderness that we might hear his voice. Therefore, do not fear or despise the wildernesses of your life and don't despise his removing of the distractions. Rather, embrace it. Draw closer to him and listen to what he is saying. Seek to hear his voice and you will hear him. For the wilderness in your life is not just a wilderness. It is holy ground the midbar, the place of his voice. The wilderness. It's in the wilderness we usually say, I don't hear God, I don't sense God, he's nowhere, where are you God? And we kind of go running to and fro, calling out for God, saying, where are you? Why is this happening? I don't like this, I need you. And but we're never quiet, are we? We are never still. I have a pillow at home that says, be still. And I look at it and go, take a deep breath, Ray, and listen. And you'll hear God speak. You'll feel his presence. Be still. The wilderness is for our benefit. The wilderness is where we can draw ever closer to him because nothing is 
taking our attention. When I read this, I thought of an incident in, um, well, in my life. Um, my cousin uh, was pregnant with her seventh child, and she miscarried. And my sister-in-law and I called her to say how sorry we were uh, for that miscarriage and, you know, how bad we felt for her. And this is what she said to us, well, thank you, but I think God just wants to talk to me, so I think he didn't cause this, but now he has my full attention and I'm going to spend time with him. And I went, whoa, a tragedy, a crisis in her life. And her words are, I'm going to spend more time with Father God. I'm going to listen to him. That's what we should do. A crisis comes and instead of going crazy, bouncing off of rubber walls or whatever, you should be still and say, speak, I'm listening. Let me hear your voice and know your presence in this situation, in this event. At the end of every one of these meditations is a mission statement. And let me read that one to you for Midbar. He wrote, put away the distractions, those things that keep you from hearing and go into the wilderness, the Midbar, and seek the voice of God. So my beloveds, do the mission for this week, for today, for the next month, year, forever. Be still and listen for the voice of God and what he's saying, and you'll hear him you'll hear him clearly. So thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.